last few weeks, I have noticed that my cordless drill is very weak and not last long like before. In this video, I will replace my drill battery with lithium ion one and I want to tell you it's not just remove this and add this because lithium ion batteries are dangerous and it can explode or catch fire. Let's get started. First, I will tear down the battery back. Here you can see it contains of 12 Nikate batteries connected in series. By measuring them, they give just 3 volts, so they are dead. Each battery of them can provide 1.2 volts and 1.2 amps. Now, I will just remove them. We have an empty battery enclosure here. Going to rebuild the battery back inside it. To rebuild this battery, I will use the scrap laptop battery. All laptop batteries has a lithium ion cells inside. Each cell can provide 3.7 volts and 2.5 amps. Refer to my channel to learn how to harvest lithium ion batteries from scrap laptop batteries. To rebuild this battery, I gonna need 3 cells or 3 sets. Each set consists of 2 cells connected in parallel. Also, the most important part here is the battery controller circuit. It protects the battery from overcharging, over discharging, over current and short circuit. We can simply say this board protects you from battery explosion or getting on fire. See description for more details. Now, connect this three sets in series. I have two of them connected already. I'm going to connect battery negative to B minus and battery positive to B plus. There is B1 and B2 beds on the board. We will connect them as shown in this image. We connected the batteries in this way because each cell should be monitored separately to be protected. Let me explain it again. P minus is connected to the whole group negative. P1 is to next positive B2 to the next positive B plus to the whole group positive B plus and B minus is battery back in and out now I am going to solder red wire of the battery enclosure to B plus and black wire to B minus from the other side for safety Seems everything is ok, let's give it a try. Works great, and nothing on the board gets hot. So we can say everything is working well. Now the last step. Try to charge the battery by the original charger. Looks ok. Ok, now we have 5 times stronger battery, it lasts longer and it's safe to use. If you like my video, please subscribe and share. Thank you for watching and see you next time.